In this video, I will demonstrate how to record and control moving light fixtures on the LPC console. Once again, we will be using the WYSIWYG third-party software to help illustrate our purpose. In past videos, I've shown you how to patch your fixtures by going to the Setup tab and selecting DMX Assignment. We selected our fixtures brand and type from the drop-down menu and dragged it to the available DMX address. In the last video, I talked about the use of labels and how they will aid you in recording your moving light fixtures to scenes. Recording moving lights to submasters and cues is very similar. In this video, I'll be working with submasters. I'll begin by selecting Record and Subs. Let's use the two Mac 500s for this demonstration. I will select them and then go into the Details screen. I can select a label for color, beam, and position. And then close back to our record screen by using the shamrock key. We then select what submaster we would like to record to, and then name it, and hit save. Just like with conventional fixtures, if we want to edit a sub and alter what we have recorded, we can do that by going to Run and then selecting Preview. If your sub containing the moving light scene was live when you entered the screen, the changes made will be seen on stage. If the scene you want to work on was not in use, the changes will be made in a blind state. Let's say we wanted to change the color of one of our fixtures. Let's select the submaster that we want to work with. Hit the details for those fixtures. We can deselect a fixture if we only want to change the color for the first Mac. We'll go from blue to yellow. Close out of the screen. And then we'll hit save. Next, I'll show you the effects feature on the LPC. Programming automated fixtures can be very time consuming. The LPC contains some pre-programmed effects to help save some time. There are effects for color, beam, and position. One thing to note, effects contain specific fixtures, movement, and time data, but they do not contain intensity. This will be set when you record the cue or sub. Let's start with a color effect. We have two options here. We can create an effect from the color wheel or from the label list. Let's select label. Now it's as easy as selecting what labels we want to use for our color effect. We'll go from blue to green to lavender to red to white to yellow. Then we can name our effect and hit save. Once an effect has been created and saved, it can be used at any time while recording submasters or cues. This will take us back to the effect screen and has added our effect to the current scene. We can then hit enter to return to the subscreen and make sure the intensity is up for that specific fixture. Now hit save, and the effect has been saved for that submaster. This works the same for position effects. Let's go back into effects and select the position tab. Each of the programmed effects has specific properties for size, position, and rate. For this, let's select Ballyhoo from the list. If you notice, you can now alter the starting and ending pan and tilt values for the effect. We'll name this effect and then hit save. Now the effect is in the current scene we are about to save. If you want to remove it, you can hit remove from scene. 
But let's add it back for this demonstration. We'll close out of this, and now we'll save that effect into the same sub, sub 10, and save. Well, that concludes the basics of recording and playing back moving lights on the LPC console.